Hey guys, Chanel Monique here, your Automations Bay, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your high-level agency account. But before we dive right into the actual account setup, I want to make sure you have a full understanding of domains and how to set those up. And so I created this visual layout so that you can get a better look at what's what. So first up is your agency website. This is going to be your main domain. This is a normal www, whatever your business name is, .com that you already used to seeing all over the internet. This is going to lead to whatever website or funnel you've already created to tell the world about your business. It's called the main root domain, like the root of a tree. And all the rest of these are called subdomains. They're like the branches of your domain tree. All the subdomains should branch off from the main root because you want to remain consistent with your branding all throughout. You can see here that all these subdomains consistently end in everythingbusiness.com. This helps my clients not only remember my business name, but to also recognize and know that it's really me whenever they see it. This first branch is your agency dashboard. This is the app that they're going to log into or the link that they're going to use to log into their dashboard. And as you can see, mine's here. I put as app.everythingbusiness.com. Agency links, aka your API, is what all of the share links in your systems will use. Meaning any link that you want to share to somebody, like a calendar, form, or survey links that you haven't already connected to your domain, is going to automatically default to this right here. So if you haven't connected it or named, like bought a domain for that calendar, for that survey, for that form, then when you go to share it, it's automatically going to connect to whatever you name this one right here. Um, I named it link that everything business.com, but you can name it whatever you want. You can name it your mama at everything business.com or your mama at whatever your business name is.com. That's all up to you. You can name any of these, whatever you want. I'm just showing you an example of what I do and what I name them when I go to set up my clients agency accounts. Now, the next one is going to be your agency sending domain. This is not an email address. This is what's going to be sent out anytime a user gets their login credentials or maybe when they forget their login credentials, this is what they're going to receive. This is the sending domain that the emails are going to be sent from. Now, it's the same thing for the sub-account sending domain, and this is your agency sub-account that you manage all of your business. And this needs to be different from the subdomain of your main root domain, because this is more of a marketing burner domain type of thing. Like it's like a burner account, right? This is what you're gonna use to do all your marketing from. And the reason why I'm calling it a burner account, because things happen, people block it, people report it as spam, whatever happens, um, sometimes these domains get burnt, like they get burnt, they get blacklisted. And if you use this same domain, um, as the one, as you, as this one, as your agency sending domain, if these two are the same, then, and one of them gets burnt, then it's a high chance that when somebody goes to sign up for something, they won't get the login in information or when they reset their password, they won't never receive the emails because the account has been um, because that domain has been blacklisted or it's been burnt. So we want to make the agency sending domain and your sub account sending domain completely separate. You're going to keep the branding, but the part in front of it, you're going to make that different. It's not going to be info, info or admin, admin or contact, contact. You're going to make these two completely different. Um, some people use info, like you see me use info. Some people use contact. Again, use whatever you want, whatever your little heart desires. But I do suggest keeping everything short. Keep it short and keep it simple. Short and simple. Short and sweet. Whatever you want to say. Next is the um, sub account membership area. Now, high level calls there is the university. You'll see university at gohighlevel.com. Honestly, I just kept it the same as theirs. This is probably the longest one I've ever used, um, but you can change it to be whatever it is that you want to do. 
And last but not least is the email address. We are going to create a professional email address because we need a way for our people, our clients, or even our team to be able to contact us and also for us to be able to log into this agency account or into our sub account, right? So we are going to create a, a professional email. We're going to do all of that in the next slide. Um, but again, I just wanted you guys to really sit here and think about these things because it's a lot easier if you go through and you think about it and you map it out now and you set it up properly the first time versus you just winging it and having to go back and fix it later. Because a lot of times that's when things get broken because you went back to fix it, but it's already been connected or set up to different things. And sometimes you forget what you connected it to or that you did certain things. So I have a saying, if you know me, you know, I always say the wise do in the beginning with the fools do at the end. Go through, map this out, set it up the first time, and you'll never have to do it a second time. So I personally use GoDaddy, but whatever um, website hosting site that you use is going to be a similar process for GoDaddy, um, GoDaddy.com. I'm going to come over to my products. Once I'm inside my products, I'm going to go down to whatever um, domain I want to use, which I'm actually going to use. There it is. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to go to Manage DNS. Once I'm in here, underneath DNS Records, these are the two you're going to worry about. You're going to worry about A, and you're going to worry about C name, www, not C main underscore domain connect. You're going to use C name, www. So now you're going to go back to your platform, and you're going to add new domain. When you go to add new domain, you're going to put www dot whatever the domain name is. The one I'm using is going to be everything business net and then I'm going to follow the instructions where it says please make sure to have either an a record pointing to and then those numbers or a C name record pointing to flash dot funnels dot blah 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 dot com for www right that's why I said when you're looking at this the C name is www not domain connect because that's what the instructions say so I would copy this 34 to 0.4 and I already did it but I'm just gonna show you anyway and then I would come here and I would go to edit and then right here where the value is that's where you're gonna plug in the 34.68.234.4 right and then you're gonna hit save which again I already had it but I just wanted you to be able to see it and then when you go down to, we're going to actually go back to our platform and you're going to highlight flash.funnels, this whole thing.com. And once you highlight it and copy it, then you're going to come here and do the same thing. Hit edit and place it right here. This will most likely have said park and where it says park, you're going to replace it by putting this here. Exactly like how I did. You're going to save it. And then you're going to come back here and you're going to hit add. And then it's going to say, yay, domain, www, dot, whatever your business name is, dot, whatever, add it successfully. And that's how you add a domain. Then you can come here and select what funnel you want the domain to go to. Or you can do it inside. So you can select it here. Let's say I'm just going to put it to one. Um. And you select the funnel type, the funnel step. I'm going to put an offer page and I'm going to hit link domain just so that you guys could actually see it. So now we're going to come out of settings, go back to sites, go to, I think, where did I put that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that ADHD kicked in real quick. I lost track. And this is where that domain is being um, sent to. And when you go inside the settings, you're going to put the path, you can put the path as being slash, so that way it's not the whole www.blah, blah, 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 slash 
opt-in page or slash home or whatever. And that's it. That's how you set up your domain using GoDaddy.